Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you liked how it turned out. I love, loved how it turned out. I can't even believe that it came out as good as it did. Like, I am beyond impressed. This look was solely inspired by House of Beauty's Cleopatra Lip Hybrid. Like, I kid you not, when I saw this online, I was just like, I have to have that. So, I grabbed it, and since I purchased it, I've been waiting on it to get here. I'm like, ooh, has my shipment came? I couldn't wait to get it on my lips to see how it looked. And it looks amazing. And again, this look was solely inspired by House of Beauty's Cleopatra. And I tried to give a whole Arabic um, vibe or a whole Egyptian vibe going on. I fe felt like it just went with the name of the lipstick. So hopefully you guys like this. I'm getting ready to take so many pictures and post them online. Like I'm so excited. I can't handle it. It is probably 11 o'clock at night now. And I just did a whole face. Which means I actually have to go somewhere and let somebody see it. Because this is dope as fuck, right? Lynn, you really outdid yourself with this. I'm about to put some clothes on. And where am I going? I don't know, but I'm going, baby. I'm heading there. So if you guys like this, please thumbs up, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, definitely share this video. Or if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I use, I know I mentioned a lot throughout the video. But if you guys have any additional questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the description box below. And I am going to talk to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and get ready and show the world what I have to offer. Bye guys. So I literally forgot that I was supposed to be recording this. Unfortunately, I had already gotten started. So I just went in with this NYX um, <clears throat> lip liner. And this is in the color uh, Brooklyn Thorn. Oh, that's a cute color. And what I'm doing, I, or what I did, is just mapped out my crease with no rhyme or reason. Doesn't have to be super specific because you're going to cut that mug anyway, okay? You're going to cut that bitch. You're going to cut it. You cut it. It took shit way too high. I'm going in with the, and all of these colors here are used Morphe palette, the 35K palette. And I'm going in with this color here, and it's so dirty because I use it so much. This is literally one of my favorite palettes. So I just might behoove me to add a, lip, a little bit of a lip shit to my lips. Crusty up in the camera. And if I do say so myself, this actually came out really, really well. Just dipped into that same color we used, and I'm adding that. Okay, so that's good. Then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, a smaller um, dome brush, which is this one. This one is a Coastal Scents, and I am going to take this color here, get it on the tip, not on the whole brow, but just on the tip, just like that, and I'm going to go right over it. And I'm making sure I'm generous. Any colors that I use, I was really generous with. And I don't know why my lighting keeps switching. I'm sorry. It should be stable, actually. So, sorry. Then, I'm going to go in with another brush. Did I use this one? I don't know. I have to find the small brush. Hold on. I'm going to just go in with this brush. It's a dome brush um, or a flat brush by... I can't even tell. This brush is so old. I don't know. And then I'm going to take this deep brown right here. And then I'm just going to kind of carve that area out a little bit more. Make sure we flick it out on the ends because we want it to be winged. But in the same token, I'm bringing it into the inner corner. Trying to make sure we don't cover up too much of that other color that we used. And then I'll just go in with a clean blending brush. So we're going to go in with a clean brush. Well, I used it on this eye, so it's not clean. But I didn't add any more product. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Like, blend it like my life depends on it. Because it does. Because my makeup can't look like shit. And, you know, I may find a husband. Was I planning on going anywhere tonight? Absolutely not. When I got inspired by this look, I was like, oh, I can't waste this. I have to go somewhere. So I think I'm going to go back to karaoke. You guys know, if you follow me on Snap... Y'all yeah, know I've been loving karaoke recently. And then, now, to be honest, I tried to use the black from this palette, and one of my eyeshadows just fell out, so that's sexy. But I tried to use a black from this palette. It's just not dark enough for me. So what I did, I just took my Z palette, my Makeup Geek Z palette that I kind of, like, concocted. A lot of these are from the Naked palette. The rest of them are from Makeup Geek. But I took um, Black is Black, 
and I just kind of carved that crease out just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm making sure that it's matching. And I bring it just a little bit higher. So I make it just a little thicker, but not too thick. And make sure it's flicked out on the end there. And then I went in with the same blending brush. And with no rhyme or reason, I just buffed it out. So what I'm doing now, I'm just taking the NYX. <clears throat> What is this? Oh. Taking the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the color um, Porcelain. And I'm just going to cut that crease. So I'm going to start in the middle of the eye just to get... You don't want to go too high up too soon with too much product. So you see how that's a little clumpy there. You don't want that to happen. So you want to make sure you get a nice, you kind of wipe it off on your lid. And then you go in and cut the crease. And I'm going to try to be as symmetrical as possible when I do this. And for me, because I have hooded lids, it takes some tugging and everything to go ahead and get it done. So hang tight and I will be right back when it comes to talking. So now that we have that cut and it looks symmetrical to the other eye, I just use my finger to press that product into the skin. Um, it presses it into the skin. It also opens up. Um, okay, so that's more symmetrical. So this um, presses the product into the skin and then it also picks up the excess that you have left went in with that same Morphe 35k palette and I used a few different brushes for this but I'll show you what I did so I went in first with this white shade picked up a little bit on my brush both ends blew it off and I just pressed it into the skin like all the way into the inner corner not being shy at all it's about the out the inner third of my eye well I'll say the inner fourth because we use four colors so I'm just patting that, making sure to get in the crease because I do have oily skin, so it does crease sometimes. And I messed up a little bit, so we're going to go back and fix that with the brush. There you go. Good to know. Okay. So I just continue to pat. And then I took a different brush, which was this flat. Um, Anastasia brush number 18 and I took this nudie color front and back once again and make sure I uh, made sure I got some really I got that product on there real good and then I just took my time taking it up to the crease use swiping motions if necessary and then we're gonna blend over that white that we just used all the way till about right here we're gonna blend that on in and I went over this I did layer so I went over this a few times okay to about the half half of the eye and then take it just a little bit past the first half of the eye because that'll help with the blending a little bit later so I'm gonna come in far And if you feel like you lost any of that white at the beginning, which you probably will, especially blending, just take a little bit more and pack it right there in my happy place. Just pack it and then go in with that same brush that you were using for that nudie color, the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 18, and layer that sucker real good all the way up to the crease so now that we have that done I'm gonna take a fluffier flat brush this was a um, elf brush I think it's like a domed something or another and I went into this like reddish brown color right here which we used in the crease but I'm yeah that's that color so I'm gonna start deep 
and then I'm gonna bring it in. So start deep, take it all the way up to the top, make sure you're getting in that crease, and then bring it in. Just slowly start, and I'm using circular motions if you can't tell. Just gonna slowly start bringing that in and blending it into that peach. Just right there. See how that transitions really nicely? We're gonna make sure it does that all the way up top from the lash line to the top of the crease or to the bottom of the crease we created. And if it gets too dark or if you feel that it's getting too dark or it's not dark enough, do the same thing, just layer it. Start deep, circular motions near the center of the eye. And I think that works out really well. Just right there. So I'm not gonna do any more to that because I don't wanna ruin it. And then I did go in with a dark brown, which honestly I figured I could have skipped this step. Um, but I'm gonna go in with the dark brown. You can use either of these three. I think I just dabbed all three, four of them together. And then I'm just gonna finish that outer corner off with, uh, well not finish it off. I'm gonna go ahead and do that outer corner with that darker brown. Okay, pick up that brush you used prior and kind of tap that out a little bit just so it'll blend real nicely. And then I finished up the outer half in Black is Black by, now is it called Black is Black? What is it called? Let me make sure because Black is Black is Maybelline. Corrupt. It's called Corrupt by Makeup Geek. To Corrupt, I knew it wasn't Black is Black, what the hell? And I'm just going to follow this line. Stop right there. But blend it. Into that dark brown. And try to make sure that it's not choppy. So to do that, I just went in with the dome brush that I used to blend out the crease. And I just blended it. Time you want people to notice the lashes you don't wear lashes for no reason all right I'm gonna finish my face and I'm gonna get back to you guys Lee with some NYX liner I don't know how necessary that it, this is but I haven't used this yet so I don't want to I don't want to mess anything up um, NYX suede matte lip liner in the color foul mouth so let me just go ahead and do that real quick Gonna mix those together, and then the way these are packaged, it'll be really difficult to not make a mess, so I'm just gonna try my best. Oh, these are so pretty, do you see this? And I'm gonna swatch it. Ugh, ugh. Why can you tell how pretty that is? Oh my God, it has this like, oh my God, I can't wait, okay. So I'm all lined up. <sighs> uh. Y'all. Y'all. Oh my god. This is fucking A. And I'm trying to be really careful around the corners. This is so pretty. That's too much. I love this I love it really great consistency really amazing color payoff it's every bit as pretty as the picture it really is like I can't handle this I can't I can't I can't 
I can't. 